Who has given credence to what we have heard? Who has seen in it a revelation of Yahweh's arm? Like a sapling he grew up before him, like a root in arid ground. He had no form or charm to attract us, no beauty to win our hearts. He was despised, the lowest of men, a man of sorrows, familiar with sufferings. He was one from whom, as it were, we averted our gaze, despised for whom we had no regard. Yet ours were the sufferings he was bearing, ours the sorrows he was carrying. While we thought of him as someone being punished and struck with affliction by God, whereas he was being wounded for our rebellion, crushed because of our guilt, the punishment reconciling us fell on him. We have all been healed by his bruises. We all like sheep had gone astray, each taking his own way, and Yahweh brought the rebellious acts of us all to bear on him, ill-treated and afflicted. He never opened his mouth. Like a lamb led to the slaughterhouse, like a sheep dumb before his shears, he never opened his mouth. Forcibly after sentence he was taken. Which of his contemporaries was concerned at his being cut off from the land of the living, at his being struck dead for his people's rebellion? He was given a grave with the wicked, his tomb was with the rich. Although he had done no violence, had spoken no deceit, it was Yahweh's good pleasure to crush him with pain. If he give his life as a sin offering, he will see his offspring and prolong his life. And through him, Yahweh's good pleasure will be done. After the ordeal he has endured, he will see the light and be content. And by his knowledge, the upright one, my servant will justify many by taking their guilt on himself. Hence I shall give him a portion with the many. He will share out the booty with the mighty for having exposed himself to death and for being counted as one of the rebellious, whereas he was bearing the sins of many and interceding for the rebellious. Who has given credence to what we have heard? Jesus, Jesus Christ. <laughs>